Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Goldfish, ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I think I wanna do is work on the goldfish. So I'm gonna need to isolate that guy. Okay, now what I wanna do is add on like it a sheet as if it's like a ghost. I'm gonna fill that in. Now I'm gonna take the airbrush pen and I'm just gonna add some shadows around the edges so that it looks like three-dimensional. I wanna go in with this pen tool and make it look folded. Now I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop. I wanna change this thing around it so that it looks almost like green or blue, like a ghost, kind of like on like Danny Phantom or something like that. Yes. I'm going to erase all the text in here and I'm gonna replace it in this horror font called Chiller. Lastly, I'm gonna replace the eye with this tiny little ghost fish. Here's the final result. The ghost fish is so cute and I love the font choice. I love the name too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Oh my gosh, Google. Okay, I've got an idea, let's go. Okay, looking at this logo, I think what we have to do is make it say gobble. Okay, I went ahead and duplicated it. Now I'm gonna grab the green and I'm gonna make it be yellow. Then I'm gonna select it again and move it over to make this like a B. And I'm gonna erase this G and just duplicate that B again. And finally pull up that L from the other logo. And then I'm gonna change up the colors a little bit to give it a little bit more of a festive feel. Then I'm gonna make some feather shapes with the pen tool to act as feathers and also as the little waddle below his neck. Lastly, I just need to add in two little eyes and here is the final result. This is definitely one of the cutest little dudes I've ever made. I love all the colors and how it still looks like Google. And I think they might actually could do something like this on their website. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Starbucks. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, I think what I wanna do first is make the whole logo red. And it could be fun to make like half of her face cut open with like some brains going on in there. I also wanna take away this mouth and make something that looks like a little more monstery. Oh my gosh. Okay, now what if instead of this tail, I make it look like it's been like chopped off and there's some kind of like bone coming out of it. And then what if we go another step further and make it look like she only has one arm? I erased the star and now I'm thinking we do like an upside down pentagram. Lastly, I just wanna add some kind of like gory details throughout. And here is the final result. This is definitely spooky. And I think honestly, Starbucks should do something like this every year for different holidays. It just makes sense. This is definitely one of my favorite redesigns I've ever done. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I'm gonna let this filter pick a random logo and whatever it lands on, we're gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Red Lobster, okay, wait. I have an idea. Dread lobster maybe? So yeah, I'm thinking we make this little lobster in Procreate look like it's like a skeleton of a lobster. And then I can change some of the words down here to make it be a little more spooky. So what I'm gonna do is just go over every part of this lobster with this kind of bone color. Now I'm just gonna outline each of them in black. Okay, I like how that's looking so far, but now I'm just gonna go in and add some kind of low lights in there. And I'm also gonna add in some highlights as well. Lastly, I just wanna add in some little like other lines just to kind of give the effect of like the bone is aged and been like cracking a little bit. I added in the words and here's the final result. I love this font I found for Dread Lobster. And if you remember the original says fresh fish, live lobster, so I changed it to this. This is definitely one of my favorite Halloween redesigns, but let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Minecraft. Okay, wait. I have been racking my brain for what to call this, but I came up with mine corn. I, I don't know, I just think it might look cool to make each one of these pieces look like corn. So let's get going. Okay, first and foremost, what I'm gonna have to do is make this R look like an O. So I'm just gonna do that with the pen tool and grab the R and put it over here. Now I'm just gonna color it so they look like the color of corn. I think I need to bring it into Procreate to add in some little husk 
basically I'm just gonna add in little like leaves so that it looks like the corn is sitting inside of the husk. Okay, it's looking really good, but my last idea is to make the eye look like a corn cob. And here is the final result. I don't know that I love the name Mine Corn per se, but I think this one turned out really cute. It's definitely unique and it has my style in it, which I'm happy about. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Spotify! Okay, wait, I have an idea. Okay, so the first thing I think I wanna do is turn it orange because I'm thinking we turned this into a pumpkin. So I'm gonna go in with this ink bleed pen and I'm just gonna go around it and try to kind of make it look like where the stem would be. And then we're gonna need this to go kind of like this for the bottom. Okay, here's what I have so far. I'm liking how it looks. I'm gonna add in a stem up here and add in some little vines coming off of it. I'm thinking it'd be cool to make these look like they're cut out from the pumpkin. So I'm gonna go behind it and color it all in black. Then I'm gonna add in these little lines back here that make it look like it's part of the pumpkin. And here is the final result. I think Spotify could do something like this for every holiday of the year. Like I'm thinking like an ornament for Christmas, things like that. Even though their logo doesn't have words on it, I think in my head I want to call this one Spookify. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. You already know the drill. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm going to give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we going to get? <sighs> Nike. Okay, this one's going to be hard. Okay, I have racked my brain for so long trying to come up with some kind of autumn or Thanksgiving pun with this one. And I think what I landed on is Turk. E, but we just spell it K-E, just like Nike. Okay, first and foremost, let's make it a color. I'm going with this yellow. And I found this font generator online, and if you type in what you want to say, it generates it in the Nike font. So I'm just gonna place that right here. And using the pen tool, I just want to draw out the idea of this little wattle, as they call it. Perfect. And lastly, I'm gonna add in a couple eyes and a nostril, and here is the final result. Love, love, love this one. I think the name is so clever, and honestly, just the beak being the swoosh, 10 out of 10. Also, it's so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Duncan. Okay, wait, I have some thoughts here. Okay, my thought is to change the D to a P so it says pumpkin. Okay, I've got that. And now I think I'm just gonna make each one of these attempt to look like a pumpkin. So like adding on little details that just make it look like it's got the kind of like sectioned out parts of a pumpkin and then maybe even like a little stem on each of them. Now I'm gonna do that last final one. It kind of maybe looks like a bell pepper, but whatever. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go through and add highlights to every single letter. And here is the final result. This one is definitely not one of the spookiest ones I've ever done, but I think it looks so cute. I really love how this one came out. It is interesting to me. Duncan doesn't even call their pumpkin spice pumpkin, but whatever. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this lands on, I'm going to give it a creepy Halloween redesign. Okay, what are we going to get? Pizza Hut. Okay, let's go. Okay, to get started, I want to erase all the words on it. My idea is to make this logo look like it is wearing a sheet, like it dressed up as a ghost. So I went ahead and turned the background off so I can see what I'm working with. I'm just going to go in and make it look like almost like a sheet is draped over top of it. Just gonna go in and outline each side. And this is what we're working with. Now I wanna go in there and erase two holes for the eyes and add on some outlines in the black and an inner shadow like that. I want this to say Pizza Haunt and maybe a little bit of a creepier font. So I found this monster pack on Adobe Fonts and I think I wanna use this one called Mr. Darcy. All right, I'm gonna type that out. Here's the final result. I love this little ghost dude, and I think the font really ties it all together. I really love how it made it look almost like a character and a logo, but let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it an autumn redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? 
In BC. Okay, let's go. Okay, my idea for this one is to call it in BT and the T stands for turkey. And I wanna make this peacock into a turkey. So I'm thinking we change up the colors, maybe add a little, what's that neck thing called? I'll have to look it up. And change this to a T. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna change this red to a brown and then I'm gonna select the other colors and make these kind of like in a alternating pattern. I'm gonna erase the C. All right, let's find a font that works. Oh, that one kind of works. Okay, now time to add on the wattle, as I just looked it up, it's called. So I went ahead and added on turkey and turned that red, and now I'm just gonna add on the wattle here using the pen tool, and here is the final result. I love how this one turned out. I think the turkey concept is so cute. The colors, everything. Definitely one of my favorite already getting into fall. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever this filter lands on, I'm gonna give that logo a Halloween spooky redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Ben and Jerry's. Okay, wait, let's think. Ben and Scary's. Okay, let's go. Okay, my idea is to eventually change the font to say Ben and Scary's, but first and foremost, we need to deal with this ice cream cone. I'm gonna carefully go over the entire thing in red so that it looks like the ice cream cone is made of something kind of like blood or guts or something like that. Okay, now that I've got that done, I wanna add on some details like there's body parts in it. So I'm thinking of adding like a bone, maybe some like eyeballs. Here is everything I added into it. We've got a tooth, some toenails, some bones. Now I just need to start filling each one in with some color. Okay, here's what that looks like all colored in. Now I'm just gonna add some highlights on here and some low lights, change the font and here is the final result. I love how this one turned out. I think I found a perfect font to type out Ben and Scaries, and that ice cream cone just looks horrifying, but still has the playfulness of the original logo. Let me know what you think of my redesign in the comments, and let me know if you have any other ideas for spooky redesigns.